Hello, guys and girls. Coming at you with another sales update. Uh, another so-so week. Uh, I did have some good sales to that totaled up to about five hundred. I think I did about five hundred dollars in the last last week um, in total sales. Not as much as I wanted, but I also didn't list much this week either, um, or the previous week either. This week I started listing again, so I'm hoping to see uh, an increase in sales again. Uh, so I have about 15 items that I'm going to show you today that were noteworthy. I sold a, a couple more than that, but there was some that were just some small uh, sales. So I, I took about six to eight of them out, but we'll, we'll get right at this. And um, the first item was a nice orange Ralph Lauren shirt. It had the blue pony and it, it was really bright and I like the blue and the orange because I'm from the Syracuse, New York area and it really like kind of has the Syracuse colors and it just had a good look to it. Uh, that picture wasn't the best, but yeah, nice looking shirt and it sold for 20 bucks, 22.49. Second item, I know I've talked about this in the past, the vintage 90s, 80s, 90s Ralph Lauren stuff. Uh, that's like Polo, Sport, or Ralph Lauren spelled out with and with the flags does very well. Like you can see this was kind of faded and old and I just kind of noted that it was good use condition, minor signs of, of use, like it's obviously used. Um, but that's what the tag looks like on these. This is a shirt from the 90s basically and it even had a little collar up right there but like these sell very well uh this sold for 29 dollars plus shipping so keep it out for the old ralph lauren third item was a hickey freeman beast bespoke i think that's how you say it um tailored for bishop moynihan he's a bishop in new york was, i got a kick out of that when i was uh listing it but this was a uh, blue just plain navy Hickey Freeman. Anytime you see that this tag though, the value goes up. Cause it's custom tailored, so yeah. But this was a really nice sale, 50 bucks plus shipping. Now I sold three ties to the same person. A lot of that big clothing lot I got from a friend. Um, this one was really trippy. Sarika Elite. This is a, uh, another one from, I'm not even sure what period. This is from maybe like the 70s or the 80s. Um, the only other listings I could see were like using a Wall Street tag, but like really cool pattern. This one sold for 17. The second one was the same brand, Sarika. Not the Elite, just the Sarika though. Um, really cool brand right there. Or, pattern right there too. That one sold for 15 and then this was a, a different brand, a Stefano Milano. And again, let's see if I took a long shot of this. Yeah, another really cool pattern. This one wasn't really listed as much, so I, I let that one go a little cheaper just to move it. And the same guy liked the pattern and uh, purchased it, so. That was a good group of sales right there, and it shipped for like $3, all three of them, so really good. Here's another Brooks Brothers. This was just a stretch, so I picked these up. These don't have like the best value. They don't sell for that well. It's like a, it's a wool and spandex blend, um, so it's kind of stretchy, and it doesn't wrinkle so very easily, so I'm guessing it's maybe meant for like traveling um but they look very nice you know clean basic you know suit coat uh and they sell this one sold i took a best offer of 39 i think um but these sell good you know that they, they take a while to sell but if you're getting them for cheap enough you know pick them up all day it's not that big brooks brothers turnaround on like a really nice one but you know still good good return on investment. Uh, this is the first time I've seen one of these. It's a Pendleton tie. I know they're out there, but this is the first time I've found one. 
It was just a cool kind of black watch, plaid tie, um, sold for 1349. I didn't have it in my inventory for long, maybe a month, so actually less than that, two weeks. So if you see the ties, pick them up. Um, it depends, like some of the brands, these, these take a while, ties usually take a while to sell, so don't think it's like, oh, like this, I need to start picking up all the ties. But if you're getting them for like a dollar or 50 cents, a dollar, um, maybe two dollars if, if it's like a really good brand like Ermina Gildo Zegna or Brooks Brothers, pay a little more for those but just realize you're waiting for that the you're really waiting waiting for the right buyer with those and it's gonna take a while for them to come along before that actually sells uh, this was a new one I did a periscope about a, a couple weeks back it's uh, the brand is Prana and this is a nice flannel 100% um, cotton kind of like a territory ahead style but more modern, brighter colors. Uh, it's a newer brand. Uh, I think they have them. Forget what store someone mentioned they had seen them in. But it's a newer brand, as far as I know. And it's like an outdoorsy kind of brand like that. But the, the the fabric and the quality was very nice. Um, and there's not a whole lot of listings out there, but they are selling well. So $22 for this, I think I picked it up for three or four. You know, that's a really good turnaround, nice shirt. And there is people looking for them out there. So keep an eye out for that brand. Uh, good old Brooks Brothers. This is a cool logo, right? Usually I only see the sheet, but this one had the 1818 on there. It was not a non-iron, just a colorful plaid type, you know. Uh, I don't even think it was a button down collar, was it? Yes, it was. You can barely tell, but it was an Oxford collar. So just a casual dress shirt. Uh, it sold for $22.49. Anytime I see the logo on these, the, uh, the price is worth a little more. If it's a non-iron or not, like, like this was a nice bright shirt. Someone definitely is going to enjoy that. So always pick those up. Uh, here's a Clemson Tigers Ping shirt. Ping. This is a golf brand. So I know this is a good brand. Uh, it wouldn't sell that much on its own. And with the logo, it, it goes up in price a little more because you, you're, you're kind of hitting two keywords here, the Clemson Tigers and the Ping. Um, so you have two people looking for maybe both of those or one or the other, but that was still $19, good, good turnaround. Here's another kind of athletic gear. Um, I've been picking these up more lately. They don't sell super fast. Sometimes they, this one did actually, but usually like the golf shirts and stuff aren't a super fast seller, but they will sell and it's, there's a good market out there, but you gotta get them for cheap because um, this one actually sold for a little more because it's heavier, $24.99. But just be cautious of what you're spending on these because they will sit, like the golf shirts will sit a while. Um, but this was really nice. Under Armour, you know, these these things go for a lot. I think $80 to $90 new. Um, so if you see these and you can pick them up for a good price, don't be afraid to pick them up. Uh, Brooks Brothers, another one. This is also another stretch. Here you go. Different tag on this, but still the same thing. Almost an identical blazer, just a different... Actually, it looks like it's an identical size, too. This one sold for a little less at $26.99, but like I said, if you can get these for five, six, seven bucks, you know, you're, you're more than tripling your money there, so you know, I'll pick these up all day. Uh, another Brooks Brothers, this was a 100% camel hair. Now, as you can see, it was like this in the thrift store, just very wrinkled. I didn't. I personally, if, if stuff is like this, I don't even take the time because um, I'm running through clothes so quickly when I try to list them that, you know, it's just not worth it to me. Um, and they're going to be dry cleaned when the owner gets them anyway. I guess you could take the argument to steam them. Like, this does look kind of cruddy, and I have thought about it now that I'm going to be having more time. But um, still, I just put it right here. It needs to be steamed. 
uh, slash dry cleaned, but it's in great use condition. So if you're disclosing that, they'll be like, oh, it's just wrinkled. Um, if someone is looking for this jacket, here's the proof. They're going to buy it. $71. Um, and also, do not list these cheap. Like, they are not very, they are not common. So if you find one, you know, hold on your price and just wait for the right buyer. It'll go. And now for the sale of the week. Uh, this was a Canon T50 SLR, kind of like a vintage older camera. Um, it had an extra two lenses with it, and um, the flash, some extra lens covers, all the guides. Uh, it was going, there were some that had sold, I think $90 was the highest, higher range, maybe a little more, but for a kit like this, well, just a standalone camera was selling for about 60 used. Um, so yeah, I'm really happy with this. I, I paid $6. This blue case was sitting um, on the shelf and it just said $6. I said, can I see what's in that? Yeah, sure. I opened it up. I'm like, Phew. I didn't even like research it. I just took it because I knew like all the stuff that was in there had to be worth much more than $6. I came home, you know, took some good pictures, kind of made it look like it was a, big, a set. And you know, even the manual, the manuals helped a lot, I'm sure. But the right, maybe a collector or someone who's had this camera before came right along and picked it right up. But uh, eighty-nine dollars, six dollars at eighty-nine dollars plus, plus they paid for shipping. So really happy about that. That was my best sale this week. And um, yeah. I, you know, I hope you guys are liking these sales updates. I've had some really good feedback from you in the comments. So, like, like always, keep keep uh, writing what you're thinking down in the comments if you want to see more. And if you like these videos, please uh, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel because I guarantee you there's going to be more to come. I'm doing these weekly, and if you're looking for free tips and uh, bolos and my monthly sales updates head on over to treasuregnome.com i have a link below in the description and you know i'm sure you won't be disappointed with the stuff that's going to be coming there in the the following months to years so thanks again guys for watching and we'll catch you next week